Here in Kenya, opposition politician Miguna Miguna has been charged with treason and unlawful assembly. The charge sheet states that Miguna is liable as he was present during the swearing-in of opposition leader Raila Odinga last week. Odinga took an oath of office declaring himself the people's president. Miguna, a lawyer, was arrested on Friday. He has not entered a plea and is asked to be released from custody so that he can return to his family in Nairobi. Earlier, police dispersed crowds calling for Miguna. Guna's release. For more on this, we're joined by CGTN's Robert Nagila, who is outside the High Court in Nairobi. Robert, what's the situation like where you are? Well, Penina, the situation is much, much calmer than it was earlier this morning when police were forced to lob tear gas at opposition supporters who had blocked the main road leading to the High Court and were pelting police officers with rocks. Now, the opposition supporters were demanding that opposition leader, one of the opposition leaders, Ms. Dr. Miguna Miguna, be produced before the court. He was arrested five days ago and had yet to be seen in public until this morning when he was produced at a court in a different county neighboring Nairobi. Now, in the court proceedings yesterday, a judge had ordered the Inspector General of Police to produce the opposition, support, opposition leader this morning. However, that did not happen, and the prosecution said that he had already been produced at a neighboring county. Now, the judge says that he will make a ruling on this case at 2 p.m. this afternoon, which is in about 45 minutes, and we expect opposition supporters to gather outside the court again as they await that ruling. Now, as to whether Dr. Miguna Miguna will be produced at this court, as had been ordered by the judge yesterday, remains to be seen. Penina? And Robert, what is the opposition saying about these latest developments? Well, quite a number of things that have happened and uh, we're seeing various reactions from the opposition, especially concerning the arrests. Now, they say that the government, which they blame for this whole, uh, what they're calling circus, is in breach of the constitution uh, and says that um, their bodyguards have been withdrawn their firearms have been withdrawn for the government and some opposition leaders have already gone to court to sue the government uh, on this particular matters. Now the opposition says that they will not relent as far as they are concerned. Uh, Raila Odinga, the opposition leader, remains the people's president. He was sworn in uh, on Saturday and that is uh, which has led to the arrests of various opposition leaders including Dr. Miguna Miguna who has been charged with being part of an illegal oath and an illegal gathering which essentially they say is treason. What many opposition leaders are asking and in some ways appears to be daring the government if they are arresting all these opposition leaders on charges of treason why haven't they arrested the person who took the oath himself, that is the opposition leader, Raila Odinga. So a lot of questions out there. The government has been very, very quiet on this particular issue, hardly responding to any queries by the opposition leaders or the media, and says that investigations are still ongoing on that particular oathing ceremony that took part place uh, on January the 30th, not too far from our current position here in the capital, Nairobi. All right. Penina? Robert Nagila, live for us there in Nairobi. Thank you very much, Robert.